Welcome back to Kentucky Lake and the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. We'll pick up tournament coverage with one of the teams from the yeah, University right of Wisconsin at Platteville. They've had some luck this morning and have one that might go about six pounds in the live well. So far we've been just kind of going up shallow and kind of throwing uh, reaction baits to them. I'm throwing a, I think it's a 3 8 ounce chatter bait and that's, that's what I got my six pounder on. Yep. And right now, since I'm fishing the back of the boat, up front, Brett Stanick is fishing a rattle trap. He's fishing a chatterbait, so I'm going behind him, maybe trying to get a, a little less of a reaction bite from him with a swim jig. Moving on, we'll catch up with Missouri State's Crossley Welch and Matt Fielder. I want to spin around because yeah, I was I'm gonna hit that is, is, last is one right there to the water, yeah. and then we're gonna get out of here. This morning we just been running around hitting high percentage areas, really just trying to get confidence going. And our idea is the more fish we catch, you know, hopefully something's gonna get they're gonna get bigger along the way, which they kind of have right now. Big still, so you know, I've just been cranking transition rocks as he said. So. Session five, presented by Abu Garcia. Heading back to Paris Landing, session five, presented by Abu Garcia is underway as Mississippi State's Ben Spiller steps to the scales. His first fish of the day will weigh 596, and that's good enough for fifth. Grant Ellenfeld from the University of Wisconsin at Platteville weighed in his fish for 645 and fourth place. Youngtown's Jonathan Creed settled into third with 646. Logan Brewster from UT at Knoxville took the stage with the second biggest fish of the day. How long you been hauling this big one around? Uh, about an hour. An hour. Has it been a nerve-wracking hour? Uh, a little bit. We lost the bait. We've been catching everything on. How about a 732? Way to go. Taking this session, holding up there for Kevin under that tent. There you go. And the team from UT Knoxville kept the ball rolling as Scott Ellis stepped up and won session five with this Kentucky Lake monster. Two, two with the right kind. It needs to be 647 or better. How about a 759, 759. That fish not only wins the session, but it also puts Scott in the overall lead for big bass and it could be worth several thousand dollars in free gear. Okay, moving right into session six, presented by Gill Technical Fishing Gear. The aptly named Fisher Young weighed in one for 548 and tied for third with overall leader Scott Ellis in his second fish of the morning. McKendree University's Brady Faust weighed in one for 575 and second place. But it was Bethel University's Cody Huff winning the session with one weighing in at 685. Now, here's a look at the top 10 for session six, presented by Gill Technical Fishing Gear. All right, y'all can mark the screen, folks. That is the la this session, session six. That was presented by Gill Rainwear. Our next session will be session number seven coming up. But session number seven will be presented by Cabela. Tell me what you're doing. Are you debating on what hour to wait in? Or well, are you kind of watching? I think we're going to wait here for this uh, seventh session. I'm looking at that uh, Cabela's gift card. Hoping we can uh, come through with that. But we'll see. It should be a... Should be a popular one, so I'm sure a lot of people are gunning for that one. So we're gonna wait for this next session to go ahead and weigh this fish in. 